what is up lamb squad members youtubers friends and visitors of all ages my name is lambie plays and welcome back to our minecraft survival walkthrough now today i want to start off this episode by saying the original plan for this was to go to the end however i have come to learn between recording the last episode and recording this episode that i'm gonna be short a few things if i want to go to the end you know potions being like the the main thing so i do have I, I i went to the nether i got more blaze rods i made more eyes of ender we're, we're we're cool on the eyes of ender we have an ender chest which is just filled with a bunch of stuff right now but it's like if i'm gonna need potions and stuff i i can't go and and do do that boss fight without actually getting those first so i think that's gonna be kind of the plan for today is finding a space here or maybe just putting a brewing station uh here with the uh with the enchanting or maybe in the furnace room or maybe here in the storage i don't know but yeah we're, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go and and do that you know we're gonna have to start getting some potions up in here so you'll also see that i have started using scaffolding now the reason why i can use scaffolding is because of a little thing i made all the way over there when i say all the way over there i mean it's it's a it's a it's a bit of a run because i put it way out here because it's so noisy oh my gosh like it is it's it's bad it's bad it's bad but it works it's bad but it works mm. row 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 your body gently down the swamp <laughs> sorry i'm i i've been up for about three days now and um the lack of sleep is apparently getting to me i'm uh i'm apparently losing my mind now you know in case i had one to lose in the first place so this is um mm, i hear a spider Ugh. go away so this is the big machine we made it, it looks like a big block of concrete because well, it really, it, it, it really is just for, for lack of anything else. I, I think there are a bunch of zombies and stuff below this. Because there's a cave below this. But this is the machine we made. Okay, I just want to uh, go into the sounds here. Let's make the hostile creatures a little less noisy. Jeez Louise. Okay, so this is the machine, and um, the, when I switch this on, the game is going to become a little bit laggy. But but you'll you'll understand why. I say a little bit laggy. I mean it's a lot laggy. You know, it's a lot So I wanted to use, I wanted to start using scaffolding instead of using ladders because I just, I like the look of scaffolding and I like the fact that you can climb up and down scaffolding a lot easier. So zero tick bamboo farm and this is a design by Il Mango. Um, I, I, I'm not going to even try to open this up after I've closed it off with all the concrete. But, but yeah, it, it's, it works really, really well. And according to them and according to the math that I've done afterwards, um, it'll produce about 8,000 blocks of or, or units of bamboo in an hour, which is really, really good. So this is the thing that I love about scaffolding. I can actually climb up and down it and I can control where I climb and i don't die you know you know there's no falling off it like like with with ladders you know 
So in order to make the scaffolding, obviously we also need string, um, a scaffold or six scaffold units uses six pieces of bamboo and a piece of string. Now in order to get the string, we made a uh, cave spider spawner or we, we found a cave spider spawner and we turned it into an XP farm. So we're going to go over there and then we'll show you guys that. And now we're actually getting to the zone. Now the only reason why I didn't want to like run on cam is because there is the base. The zero tick spawner is way over there or the zero tick farm. And then this is in the, this, the spawner is in the area that we started strip mining. So it's, it's quite a, it's quite a ways away to be fairly honest. It's a, it's quite a way to run. Um, but I mean, I, I didn't think about making the zero tick farm over here. So it's, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. So you also see we have 24 levels right now. And the only reason why we have 24 levels is because of this spawner. So I use bubble elevators for everything, um, you know, drop and then a bubble elevator, you know, and, um, as you can see, it's, a. Uh, it's pretty effective, this, this spawner. So the, there's a spawner at the top and then it basically just, it drops 14 blocks down. Let me see if I can, let's, let's switch to spectator quickly. I should be far enough away. So if you look up there, there we go. There's the, the spawner, there's your six hoppers, which is basically just the spot these poor guys drop into we have the spawner up here and then we have um water sources in the corner that make the uh little uh it just makes the area nice and workable you know so the spider spawn and the water just pushes it off into the area down here where they either die the first time they drop or they climb back up the wall and then they drop again and then they die, <laughs> which works too. Or when I want to, and when I feel like it, I will stand here and I will actually hit them with, uh, with Fang here or with Archie, which is Bane of Arthropods, Knockback, Unbreaking 3, Looting and Sweeping Edge. I had loads of levels to use. And then I'll just give them one whack with with Archie over here and um, that'll kill the spider. Gives us a little bit of XP and the uh, loot drops into the uh, hoppers, which brings them into the chest. So as you can see, we have a, a fair few, you know, stacks of string, a, a fair few. That's three, six, nine. So that's 18, 18, uh, 20 stacks and three strings. So I can make a lot of, like a lot <laughs> of, of uh, scaffolding, which is really nice, you know? All right, so I just wanted to show you guys this. This is how I, this is how I get scaffold. This is why I can have scaffolding. And it's also why we have 24 levels when we ended the previous episode on seven. So as soon as we get back to the house, we're gonna just take this bubble elevator back up. As soon as we get back to our main base area, I will chat with you guys again, because we have some stuff to do now. And as we make it back, it is nighttime once again. And what are you doing? near my stuff jerk dooski okay let me get inside and doors hey buddy oh we had a suggestion from one of our viewers of what to name our pooch over there so we will name him in in one second we'll we'll remember to do that by the end of the episode remember to name him i'm going to name our dog so you can also see that i've made some holy poop 
I did not make some holy poop, by the way. I made some progress over here. I've removed more of the stone that was back here, replaced it with grass blocks. So this is starting to look nice and neat, this entire area. Uh, this is still having trouble growing. I think it's because there's stone below and not uh, more dirt. I think that's the reason, I think. Get off my lawn. <laughs> Sorry. So, um, I have a brewing stand. I think we're going to take the brewing stand and we're just going to put it here. No, no, it's not. It's not even going to fit there. It's not going to look good. It's not about to look for now. Just for now. So let me pop the ender chest down here. And there is our brewing stand. So the thing you have to know and understand about ender chests while we are working with it is that a ender chest is basically... How can I explain this? Think of an ender chest like cloud storage, basically. So anything I put in this ender chest here anywhere in the world where where I can generate things that that ender chest is going to have the same stuff in so it's a really great way that if you find valuables somewhere or something like that and you want to uh, preserve those valuables in case you die an ender chest is a great way to do that you know like like a really great way so, especially for guys like me, who really die a lot, and their chests are the shiz, you know? So, and their chests are really, really nice. They are late game uh, goods because of the fact that it takes an eye of ender to, to make. Let me show you guys the crafting for an ender chest. It takes uh, six blocks of, or one, what's that, three, six eight box of obsidian and then an eye of ender that's going to give you an ender chest so it is a late game thing but really really nice to have with you and do remember that you have to pick up a ender chest with a silk touch pickaxe otherwise if you don't you just break it and it breaks down into obsidian and that is the last thing you want so yeah that's that is that is that the other thing i quickly want to talk about before we get to the potions is this place because this is an absolute nightmare it doesn't work it takes too much time and it takes too much energy so i have been looking at a um a format for doing um shush door a automatic sorting system but it is pretty expensive when it comes to redstone and iron um, but at least we have two blocks of iron and another two stacks of iron blocks and then half a stack and another eight iron ingots with a fair amount of iron to use so yeah <clears throat> so that's the thing so now let us get to this let us get to this let me let me, let me just Hold on one second, guys. All right, sorry about that, guys. My phone rang, had to answer the phone first. All right, so brewing stands. Brewing stands are really, really, really weird. And um, I've never worked with them before, so this is completely new to me. So I've read up on brewing stands. I've read up on potion making and all that stuff. And um, we're gonna need some gunpowder. Uh, we're gonna need some glass. I think all my glass is downstairs. If we don't have glass, I'm gonna need sand. We have water bottles, which is nice. This is from catching. So those are nice. The one disadvantage of water bottles, they do not stack. Okay. So, and then we need some blaze powder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all the blaze rods we have, put them into our uh, crafting table and turn them into blaze powders so we're gonna have to make a blaze farm 
in the future. So one of the nice things about uh, the just enough items that I have is that, okay, we, we now have a, a burning source. So I can look up potions, which is really, really nice. So a potion of night vision, you know, a potion of invisibility, swiftness, fire resistance, poison, night, you know, splash potions. So let's say, for instance, I am looking for a potion of strength. So a splash potion of strength requires, if you click on that, it, it's going to show you gunpowder potion of strength. That's going to give you a splash potion. You know, that's a really nice thing about just enough items. So to, and we click on potion of strength and I see awkward potion needs. I need three awkward potions with a blaze powder to get me a potion of strength. To get an awkward potion, I need nether wart and three water bottles. Really, really cool, actually. So what I see is I need to go in and I need to grab nether warts. So I'm going to be back in like two minutes. I'm going to have to go to the nether. Hold on. Alrighty. And a great many near death experiences later, we have emerged with 12 nether warts. Only 12. <laughs> 12 is all I could manage to grab before I nearly lost my life for the upteenth time. And I didn't want to die again. So. So now we have to put a water bottle there, a water bottle there, a water bottle there, and then nether wart up there. And that's gonna brew the nether wart with the blaze powder. The blaze powder is your, um, basically the same as when you have coal in a furnace. That's what your blaze powder acts as. And then it just brews yourself a nice little potion. So now we have three awkward potions. Which is nice, you know? So let's go back to that recipe. Three awkward potions with a blaze powder at the top. So we're gonna take one blaze powder from. Okay, let me take the nether board out of there. And then we put the blaze powder at the top. That's gonna give me three potions of strength, which we can combine then into with a gunpowder into a splash potion of strength. Or we can just keep the three potions of strength, you know, and uh, be happy with it. I think. So that's plus three attack damage, which isn't too bad. So if you go to potion of strength, uh, the one that lasts eight minutes, you see three potions of strength and a redstone dust. Do I have redstone dust? No, I don't. Let me quickly go grab some redstone dust. Gimme. So it's still plus three damage, still the same. However, now it just lasts longer. But as you can see, like one blaze powder in there kind of lasts a fair few. Um, it doesn't just brew one potion. Sorry, that, that that took a that took some some moments for me to actually like. So now we have three potions of strength that last eight minutes each. That's really cool. Local brewery and advancement made. Okay, so the this the potions and stuff take a lot of space, so shulker boxes will be nice. But I mean, we'll we'll make a. I think I what I'll do is eventually or a bit later I'll make a space here um, for the brewing stand. I think over here, but I'm gonna have to move this back some more. But it'll give us a space for the brewing and that is a skeleton run 
Run, 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 run. Okay. So. Okay. Now the other thing I wanted to show you guys is how to actually get water bottles. But to do that, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have to go and sleep quickly first of all. And then when we get back, I'm gonna have to brew or I'm gonna have to smelt some sand down. So let's do that. Are those pillagers? Assholes. Okay, go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. I think it's a pillager patrol. Sleep. Oh yeah, that's definitely a pillager patrol. Why are they here though, and why are they stuck? Let me see. that negative effect luckily I have milk on me so under any circumstances whatever effects whether that's positive or negative you have on you a bucket of milk will cure so if you um, have a potion that you activated or something and you use a bucket of milk, it's going to take that away. But also like that with a bad omen effect, you can just drink a bucket of water and that's going to that's gonna make sure you don't have to deal with the bad omen effect. So, aha. Uh -huh. And now all I go do... Pop down here and get my milk again. Nice. Okay, so let's go grab some sand quickly. I want to show you guys how to make some water. Water? Did I just say water? That's a water bottle. <laughs> I don't have sand in here. I forgot. I forgot. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm a doof doof. That's only five. I'm going to need a little bit more than that. Why do I have so little sand at this stage? Oh no, wait, I, I have more. <laughs> also a lot of sandstone, apparently. And there's all, there's all the redstone bits and stuff that I used for the portal that used to stand here. Okay, so let's smelt down this, uh, this sand into some glass quickly. Ooh. Okay, full, full inventory. Okay, so wh while that smelts down, I'm quickly gonna take just one moment. I'm gonna clear my my inventory quickly, and then we'll we'll get back to this sand stuff, right? right. Okay, on a very very serious note, though, guys, having that storage system over there is really really nice, and it works so well, and it looks so good, and all that jazz. But placing everything where it belongs is such a tedious process. Like, it is seriously tedious. Okay, that's five, five glasses, uh, 15 glasses enough. I, um, that's why I say I'm going to need to make like a brewing stand, like a brewing home. So making a water bottle takes three glass like that, and it's going to give you a little stack of water bottles like that so because we have 15 glass let me use all of it and make 15 glass glass bottles so now you cannot brew potions with glass bottles you need these to be water bottles now there's one of two ways to do this if you have a room for this you can have a cauldron which has water in a cauldron holds three um bottles full of worth of water the other way to do it is to have a spot uh, a space like i do over here and have a water source and just come in here and go <gasps> and 
and then we have 15 water bottles. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really efficient to just have a water source and go to it and grab the water you need for your brewing. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Sorry. I just, I just love the speed at which that happened. So now I'm going to open up the brewing stand again. Let's take, for instance, a potion of invisibility now. I'm going to use invisibility as an example. This one lasts eight minutes. So it takes either three potions of invisibility with some redstone or three potions of night vision. So let's take the potion of... Okay, that's three potions of night vision. It takes three awkward potions with a golden carrot. I put the nether warts away. Ay ay ay, I forgot. You can basically brew down most of your stuff into awkward potions if you want to. Um, because... I, th I believe most of them start with an awkward potion. There are very, very few things that don't start with awkward potions. So we're going to pop those in there. Pop the nether warts in there. And that's going to brew us some more awkward potions. The unfortunate thing about potions, they do not stack. Not as far as I know, uh, to my knowledge. And if I, if I do... If I'm incorrect in this, please correct me. Please feel free to correct me if I'm incorrect. Um, but that they do not um, actually stack, you know, the awkward potion. Yeah, awkward potions do not stack. <laughs> so now you see for the potion of invisibility, I need a fermented um, spider eye. So luckily I have lots of those and I also have lots of brown mushrooms lying around. So hold on one second and I'm going to quickly go grab some, ferment some fermented spider eyes. Okay. So in the last episode's comments, one of our good friends suggested a name for our wolf friend so we are going to name him Atreyu that is going to be the name for our wolf it's a cute name I think it works the only thing I wish I could do I wish I could heal Mr. Atreyu here there we go and now you have a name my good friend now you're cute and named and hello. Okay, sit back down, boy. Be good. So if anyone knows how I could possibly heal him, bring his health back up, that would be really, really cool. I don't know if you could do that with bones or something, because, I mean, I, I can get more bones. Easy peasy. Where is that? Oh, poopy poopy. <clears throat> Sir. Yeah, you can stop making an awful noise now. <laughs> he hits hard when you're not wearing any armor whatsoever. Ow. But look at that. It's it's just an invisible armor. Check it. Just <laughs> it's 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 me, but it's not actually me. I love it. So like you can you can grab more bones, but I don't know if you can actually use the bones to heal our our, our our furry friend over there. Like food helps me, but I don't know if it helps him. So if anyone can help me on that, like like ad advise on that, that would be really 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 cool. Okay. Oh, and two more eyes uh, uh, ender pearls. That's nice. I now have fifty nine rotten flesh to trade with our villager and now we have 10 more ender pearls to use to make eyes of ender and uh, get more ender chests you know stuff like that right let me just it's another minute and a half 
it's like I need I need to I need to like take the time you know what let's go spend this minute and a half Oi. dummy I will collect these stocks once more and uh, when we get back or when I get back to the house but for this last minute I'm gonna go back here just keep swimming just keep swimming anyone remember that just keep swimming 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 Ooh. food And we're gonna swim all the way over here and I, w I just want to show you guys just how whew, that was too close of me dropping into that just how scarily effective this um, zero tick bamboo farm is okay so I will again I will drop the link to this farm in the description for you guys to go and check out but check that out okay i'm gonna quickly mute all the game sounds just because this is gonna be super loud and then let's turn this on just for like check it okay this is actually like super cool okay so let's count this that was 10 seconds, right? That we had left. And okay, so I think this has been now 30 seconds or so, give or take. Let me just switch off the machine again. And then I can bring the volume back up. Again, this machine is so loud. I do not want to stand next to it for very long. And look at that that was 54 bamboo in about 30 seconds that's incredible that is so cool so i mean zero tech farms again I'll, I'll link the video for il mango in the description for you guys so you guys can go and check that out if you want to do that again it's a little bit of a cheese just a little bit but i mean if you're like me and you like getting things industrialized and getting things done really really quickly that is one way to definitely one way to do it you know so i think my good friends my dear friends that is going to be the end of this episode for us yeah i think that's going to be the end of this episode for us i think so so um, just thank you. I don't think I say this enough. Or I, maybe I do. Maybe I don't. I don't really know. But thank you guys so much for all the support you guys show on these episodes and on this series in general. Um, I really appreciate it that you guys take the time out of your day to come watch these videos. You know, it means a lot to me. It means a lot. It means a lot. Let me just go in here and let's grab a seat here on the sofa. And then turn ourselves around because that was a very weird look. And there we go. Alright, so that is that is gonna be it for us. Um leave a like if you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It's gonna be more Minecraft, man. Just gonna have more of this stuff coming up. And um again, thank you guys so much for all your support. Really, really appreciate it. And uh, let me do this the way I always do it. Whatever you do out there, please do stay safe, stay classy. Do stay out of trouble. Don't do anything Lambie won't. Remember, the list is kind of small, so you can do basically whatever. And then I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.